Welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to talk about whether Luffy has the ability to beat an Amaro after the Wano arc. We are going to mention about manga Luffy as in the chapter 1010 as well. Spoiler alert! Luffy basic stats Strength Luffy has the strongest physical strength in the straw hat. Not even Zoro can compete with Luffy when Luffy is using gear 3rd or gear 4th. Before the time skip, you can see Luffy holding the 1000 ton bow of gold made by NL at Sky Island, and therefore Luffy is must be incredibly strong at current manga chapter 1010. There is a theory that Luffy can become physically stronger through psychology, therefore it is even very difficult to predict the limit of Luffy's strength. However, we can make an assumption that as in manga 1010, Luffy has the most strength in the straw hat, and possibly the strength that can rival Garp punches at the moment when he's in gear 4 with all hakis. Luffy is able to dodge attacks even when he's using gear 3rd. It is believed that Luffy should be able to dodge light speed, which is Kizaru's attack at the moment when he's in gear 2nd or gear 4 snake man. Therefore, Luffy is pretty damn fast in the One Piece world. His speed can be considered as number 2, right below Sanji with Ray suit in the straw hat. Let's talk about endurance. If Luffy's opponent do not have Hakis or Devil Fruit, the only way to hurt Luffy is through sharp objects such as swords. He can't be beaten by opponent without Hakis or Devil Fruit, which is show his unlimited endurance against weak opponents. However, even the opponents do have Hakis or Devil Fruit that can damage Luffy, it is shown that Luffy can still take immense amount of damage from opponents. When Luffy is fighting Kakaturi, even when he was beaten down multiple times, it is shown that he will stand up and keep fighting when he is severely injured and leads to win. Therefore, Luffy will be ranked number 2 in terms of endurance in the straw hat, which is right below Zoro. Luffy Devil Fruit is Gomu Gomu no Mi, which is a Paramecia type fruit. Luffy had his Devil Fruit since he was very young, and he has been working very hard to discover and maximize the potential of his Devil Fruit. Let's talk about the basic. Luffy can become rubber after eating his Devil Fruit, and his body is able to stretch, bend, bound, and inflate. He is immune to blunt attacks unless opponents are using Haki against Luffy. Now let's talk about Gear Second. Gear 2nd, Luffy speeding up his blood flow in all body parts to provide him with extra oxygen and nutrients. Therefore, Gear 2nd can make Luffy faster and more powerful. Using Gear 2nd makes Luffy's body turn into reddish and steaming. And Gear 3rd, what is Gear 3rd? To use Gear 3rd, Luffy will bite into his thumb and blows very hard to inflate his arm, and then he can transfer the air that blows through his arm throughout his body. Gear 3rd is simply raw physical strength and able to deal destructive damage to opponent or buildings. Gear 4th, it is when things start to get interesting as Gear 4th has 3 different forms. But the overall concept of Gear 4th is that Luffy coats his arm in Busoku Haki, which is armament Haki, before biting into his forearm. Similar to how he activates Gear 3rd, he blows an incredible amount of air into his body but this time, he inflates his muscular structure before distributing the air throughout his body, which emphasizes on his upper half body. Bowman is the first form of Gear 4. He possesses high speed movement and the ability to fly. This Gear 4 form is damage focused and it is very difficult for Luffy to balance. The most powerful attack King Kong gun of Luffy is performed when using Bowman. Tangman Luffy can use Tangman when he ate a large amount of food, and it gives Luffy a high amount of defense where Cracker can't do any damage against Luffy. There isn't much about the Tangman except for very high defense. Snakeman Snakeman is an interesting form of Gear 4. Unlike Bowman, he does not significantly increase his size, and the spread of Haki isn't as much as Bowman. In this form, Luffy gains more speed but loses more of his strength of Bowman. However, 
This form has the unique ability of allowing his attack to continuously accelerate the longer they last, allowing Luffy not only to press an attack more fiercely on an opponent capable of dodging, but also to increase the attack speed and power until he finally lands the hit. Therefore, Luffy was able to use this form to defeat Kakaturi. Let's talk about Luffy's hockeys. Luffy can use Advanced Armament Haki, which is also called Ryo. Luffy learned Advanced Armament Haki while he was in Wudon. Ryo allows Luffy to damage opponent from the inside, which means durability of an opponent becomes nothing when Luffy has Ryo. Luffy also has Advanced Observation Haki, which is also called Future Sight. After the fight against Charlotte Kakaturi, Luffy has learned advanced observation hockey and able to see a few seconds of the future. This allowed Luffy able to dodge attack with greater ease and as long as the opponent couldn't outspeed Luffy, reflexes or outpower Luffy's strength significantly, opponents stand no chance against Luffy. Conquer Haki Luffy could possess Conquer Haki and then able to use it whenever he wants. However, he hasn't learned a way to use Conquer Haki to attack opponent, which is, we call it, Advanced Conquer Haki, which we will talk more about during the Luffy vs Kaido section. Thanks for watching today's episode. In the next episode, we will talk about Kaido and Amaros and make the final comparison to Luffy after Wano to come up with the conclusion whether he could beat an Amaro in a 1v1 fight or not. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.